Hey there and welcome back to the second of well, making a tower defense game in Game Maker. So here we do the second part which is those tower structures which are the shooting. So straightforward, very very easy stuff. Kind of repetitious to the first one which we had but hey um, this will be on the easier side also. So if you want to see how that works out then stick around. This is 1UP Indie. I am a developer, so if you like what you're seeing and hearing, then why not consider sharing, liking and subscribing to the channel, of course. So for the things which we do need, so basically last time we had our spawner, this dude here, our spawns, this dude here and then some redirections. Okay, we finished this part. Now we need our houses, oh, they should be a little bit bigger, which we can place for now. They are just we just place them up front later on we in the third video we will actually put them on a grid but now they're just static things which we just do up front and then what they do well they shoot at enemies but of course if there are no enemies around then we should avoid doing that because you cannot shoot at something which is not there so hopefully you catch my drift and then of course we need to do a little bit of a size change because i guess that thing is like this big a little bit too big so we just make it a little bit smaller something like this and of course the, um, once we're hitting an enemy we're having explosion but of course as you can see uh, yeah that's right that's quite huge so we uh, make this something like this a little bit smaller on the outside so let's jump right into the code should be too difficult so the first thing which we do need is our bullet create object bullet give it the nice sprite here uh, where is it then we have a create event an alarm why do i have an alarm because let's say you are kind of uh, destroying the enemy and then this thing would fly for eternity but we need to get rid of it at some point so therefore we create an alarm um well to get rid of it so we just say like hmm uh, no, 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 in the create event, so something like, I don't know, three seconds, maybe four, I don't know. And then we destroy after hitting something. So, whoosh, whoop, whoop. No, four seconds, doesn't really matter. So this is then up to you. And of course, we need to um, change a little bit the size. So let's see how that actually looks like. Uh, yeah, a little bit smaller. So let's resize it just... Uh, do it like this kind of easy peasy part so we just define a temporal variable let's see almost 50 percent and then set it to the x and y scale so it's um, well correctly resized and then it's about ooh, nine ten pixels something like this not 16. okay cool so what else well we need to destroy the instance once it is flying off so after four seconds, it will destroy automatically. And of course, we need to have a collision with what? With well, our enemy. So here we go. Boom. And what do we do? Well, first of all, we uh, decrease the enemy's HP, which we haven't defined. So let's go into our enemy here and then create event. And then, I don't know, HP, let's give it 10. Doesn't really matter. So here, uh, play around with what you like to have so hp so uh, we can actually do something and then once we are hitting then we just select other hp and then i guess minus equals one or something like this or you define a damage variable but let's make this as easy as possible so just minus one and then so if the other uh, if the other HP is smaller than zero. So basically we depleted our HP pool. Uh, well, then we destroy it. So you can actually steal the code here. And then we just destroy it. And then of course not ourselves, but the other ID also. But of course we destroy ourselves also. So, so once we're hitting uh, the enemy with our bullet, then we are destroying ourselves also. And to top this off, let's make a nice little destroy instance which we call object uh, explosion so to make this a little bit neater and then uh, set a sprite of course everything you cannot see it right now we will get there eventually so what do we need first of all 
another event uh, animation end what is this so let's say we have uh, the thing and then after we go to the last uh, well index and you want to destroy it because explosions uh, well are not sticking around so we just say like hey uh, instance destroy also have I saved it no damn it instance destroy here we go so we destroy uh, ourselves like this and of course that explosion is kind of huge so we do it the same as uh, with our bullet we define so as you can see we are kind of reusing the code a lot let me just go in the uh, not to destroy the create event here we go just copy paste but of course make this uh, 0.2 so much much smaller but as you can see the pixel size is way too big for that but of course now we cannot see anything um, let's make the last part which is our object house which is the tower in the tower defense game so we just define object house or tower it doesn't really matter how you call it once again we have a create and a alarm event as you can see these things are pretty easy easy to use and then we can just abuse the system each time which is pretty Great, so let's go and uh, pop up the last thing. Come on, come on, come on. So a few things. First of all, we need to have a loop of shooting. Boom. And then, of course, we want to repeat the loop once again. As you can see, tons of repetition uh, in everything. No, 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 no. Um, tons of repetition in this part. So we're just looping. And of course, let's give it a nice sprite. We can actually place that thing up front. Later on, we will spawn it on a grid. But now we just choo, 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 uh, place it somewhere else. Or maybe not on this layer. On uh, here we go. And then, um, well, we can start shooting. Because for now, we are not shooting. So what do we do? Well, we define, hey, is there actually an instance of our um, enemy there so we just do something like this first of all we check hey is there an enemy there if yes we can actually do some action so we just say like hey cool there is one so we just create uh, a bullet instance creates and then um, I just use another um, layer as not the regular ones but instances effects so the things which you're shooting are on top which is then looking nicer so it's not um, kind of maybe uh, being drawn below the enemies or the spawns which would look kind of silly so therefore uh, we spawn it on the layer which is on top and of course object bullets the one which we defined here and then um, I just give it different coordinates because uh, the house is anchored on the top left here so we just go eight pixels to the right, eight pixels downwards, and then we are pretty much in the center. Why is that? Well, because if you, for example, go on instances, this grid is 16 by 16, and so it's kind of, uh, well, snapping to the grid easily. Then if we would uh, put it in the center, it would be kind of wonky. Everything is kind of on a specific grid and aligned to it. This is the definition of why we do that and of course uh, let's give the bullet or the projectile all the thing which we are shooting uh, some properties so our bullet direction is set to something but for now we want to shoot at a thing which is nearest to us so for example it would make no sense if an enemy is here and if an enemy is here or here here to be shooting at some random enemies no, we want to shoot at the enemy which is nearest to the tower. So, for example, if an enemy is here, you want to shoot in this specific direction. For that, we need to grab the nearest instance. That's actually pretty easy to do. For that, uh, Game Maker has actually a function which is called instance or uh, instance nearest. And then from ourself. And then, uh, once again, our object enemy. So we grab that and now we want to have the point direction. This is how we are getting the direction where to shoot to. 
then we can actually copy paste that also but of course from ourselves to the nearest instance here we go and here we go and that's pretty much so this is basically giving uh, the bullet the specific direction to the nearest instance if it does exist this is for example saying like hey you can only shoot if there is one around and then of course we give it a speed value so these are kind of similar to the spawns they are pretty much uh, stupid instances because they don't actually do anything specific they just go like hey and go and then they're just flying off so we just say like mm, no let's go with three as a, a speed and then we're almost finished here so let's check this out uh, let's see if we did everything is correctly and as you can see boom boom shooting that's actually working pretty fine so let's see if we can destroy the enemy yes it got deleted but of course the feedback is a little bit lacking so let's um, create some explosions on uh well on our object shots so here our bullet and then for example we are hitting the enemy and then we say hey instance uh, create and then we're just creating a shot on this specific layer which is on top once again like the bullets so x y so here this was our last location before we uh, exploded or we just well destroyed the thing and then we just pop in the explosion so this is pretty much it and then for example once we started everything is working fine the way it should be so here as you can see we got some hit back, um, well feedback that something is happening and then choo -choo -choo -choo. this is already looking pretty sweet so what else let's say we want to do some fine tuning because eh, let's just make it a little bit better so if we are in our tower which is hitting maybe you want to say like hey actually i want to have kind of a range so we are just shooting not at uh, well from let's say we got a, a tower which is here and then it's shooting straight up to here maybe that's a little bit too much for that we can actually have kind of an attack radius we can actually show that one just just then for us for debugging so we draw ourselves here we go and then we are drawing a circle on ourselves of course this is not uh, let's go completely center uh, what are you 16 by 16 plus 8 plus 8 so we are from the center and then a radius which is then our attack radius and one and then for example once we started we can actually distinguish like say like hey we just attacking um, in this specific radius uh, it's cut out so maybe i need to plant uh, our houses go on, go on, go on. the towers a little bit lower so you can actually see that but of course you can actually place them um, everywhere where you need to so let's check this out so it looks a little bit better ah yeah and uh, if you're thinking like wow that's not really a circle here yeah, because I completely squashed the, the camera so no worries about that this is just so you can see it full screen because uh, the things are pretty small so apologies for the <laughs> completely squashed circle which is actually a circle and now the the view the camera is actually handling that so if they're in the circle they are shooting but for now they are not doing that so how can we actually establish the last part of this video saying like hey if distance to object so our if the distance to our object is actually smaller than what well our attack radius then we can actually shoot and then you for example now you will see that not everybody is shooting so let's start it again and then we're pretty much finished with this video tutorial as you can see this dude is not shooting but this one and this one now is shooting too and this is how we can actually handle uh, the second part of the tower defense thing hopefully not too difficult kind of easy peasy stuff and then in the third we will kind of dynamically snap to a grid our houses and then we can just place them wherever we like and of course there will be some restrictions so let's say not on uh, things which are filled here with by the tile set or if there is another house 
on there also so we can just place on one spot uh, <laughs> i don't know 10 or 20 houses that shouldn't be possible either already hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and see you tomorrow on the third part have a good one one up indie